Tenebrae is one of the higher end weapons in the division. It falls under the Marksman Rifle category and is therefore intended for use at medium to long ranges. It's also based on the Scar H weapon model which is both a real world weapon but also has an in-game counterpart that can be obtained as an unnamed variant. The named weapons are unique as they not only come with a fixed set of talents but they also have a unique skin that comes with the weapon and cannot be changed. Tenebrae comes with this pretty cool golden tiger stripe pattern down the majority of the gun with the surrounding regions remaining a solid matte black. And as an aside, the base model for this gun, the SCAR, or Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle, is actually constructed so as to be extremely modular, extending as far as barrel changes to allow the use of different caliber rounds, and as such, the in-game counterpart supports pretty much all forms of mods. Now the Tenebrae Marksman Rifle can be crafted using a high-end blueprint that is purchased from the Dark Zone vendor in DZ06. As with all weapons, crafting can result in a varying range of outcomes, and the Tenebrae's base damage values can fall within the range you see on screen. Do of course also bear in mind that this value is then supplemented by your agent's attribute distribution. Taking a look at the stripped down version that I crafted, it has a base damage value of 19.6k, it can fire 275 rounds per minute, and has an initial magazine size of 20. Again, do bear in mind that guns in the division drop and are crafted with varying damage values, so the 19.6k base damage you see in this one may vary slightly if you get this yourself in game. Being a marksman rifle, this weapon comes with a natural headshot damage bonus, and on the Tenebrae that sits at 171%. The weapon has extremely high accuracy, an above average reload speed, a great effective range, but a relatively low stability value. The reason for this being the large magazine size. This is not a weapon that you spray and pray, nor is it a weapon that you should spam the trigger with either. It's a weapon that benefits from paced shots to counteract the considerable recoil, and of course mods can be applied to further improve the handling. Another thing that's special about the named high-end weapons over any other high-end variants is that they all have a fixed set of weapon talents. Three that require unlocking, and a fourth that is active at all times. The active perk on Tenebrae is Proficient. This makes it so that the first bullet shot when out of combat has a 46% bonus chance to result in a critical hit. So in other words, if you're the one starting the fight and you land the first shot, then there's a good chance, or a 46% chance, that that'll result in a critical. And with a high firearm stat, starting with a crit headshot is never a bad way to begin a fight. Moving over to the unlockable talents, firstly you have Steady. This requires 1,889 points in firearms and 1,889 points in stamina to unlock, and the talent makes it so that killing a target with a headshot removes 100% sway from the weapon for 7 seconds, which is a surefire way to negate that low stability value that the weapon has by default. Moving on from there you have Brutal, where headshot damage is increased by 24% when using this weapon, and this requires a firearm stat of 2,362 to unlock. So for demonstration purposes, without the perk active, I do 50,246 damage to the head, and with the talent unlocked, that jumps to 65,918. Admittedly, those values will be a little bit swayed because the reduction in firearms required to disable the talent also results in a reduction in overall DPS, but regardless, you can see the noticeable increase. And finally, the talent Toxic has a 13% chance to apply a blind status effect when headshotting an enemy. And as you can see in this scenario here, the enemy has the blind debuff displayed by their health bar to indicate that it's active. 13% is a relatively low chance, but given that you have 20 rounds in the magazine, more if you run extended mags, then you'll actually see this talent proc more frequently than you might think. Now with the talents out of the way, let's run some quick tests in the firing range. Again, with this weapon stripped down, no mods applied, a critical shot deals 93,603 damage, a headshot deals 65,918 damage, and a body shot deals 19,616. Remember that the individual damage values on a high magazine marksman rifle will be lower because the overall stack damage comes from the number of shots you can put into your target before you reload. Also remember that your final damage numbers will take into account everything from your gear, to your mods, to your active skills at the time. So while these values are used as a sample, they are not in any way a set in stone value when looking at this weapon as a whole. And finally, once your magazine is empty, your reload speed comes in at around 4 seconds. And again, this could be improved with fast reload mags. Now that we've taken a look at the weapon stats, talents, and some basic firing range damage numbers, let's run a quick field test with this weapon in a controlled environment. We're going to run through the very first room on the Madison Field Hospital mission on hard mode. The first room has a total of 5 enemies, and we're going to be using the weapon with no mods applied bar the basic 12x zoom that the weapon comes with. 
The timer starts from the second that I set foot through the front door, and after running the same room back to back five times, the average clear time comes in at around 39 seconds. Admittedly somewhat slow due to the nature of the encounter, but regardless, not a bad time for a steady paced marksman rifle. So having now taken a look at the weapon and what it can do, the question is, what is it good for? And I'd honestly say it's better for the players out there that want something that allows them to engage at range, but ultimately spend a lot of their time in close to medium range encounters. The nice thing about this weapon with an extended mag is that you can get around 39 bullets in it. And if you ever run out of primary ammo and you're being rushed down in close quarters, you can use this more like a battle rifle and fire your shots in quick succession to burn down a target's health. Obviously not its intended use, but it is still an option. On the flip side, for those of you out there running marksman builds, then this isn't really the weapon for you. If you're all about those high damage values and those crit headshots, you'd be much better going with a bolt action rifle, something like the M44 or the SRS, because while the mag is much smaller, the damage output is much greater. As for overall usage, I'd say this would be of more use in PvE than it would PvP. Again, because if you're getting into close range PvP encounters, you're really going to want something that excels in close range combat, like an SMG. And if on the flip side you're trying to get someone running away, then chances are you want something where that one shot can make all the difference. But if you are going to use this, then my main recommendation would be to run mods that both extend the magazine and also help reduce the recoil. That way you can be much faster with your shots and ultimately output more damage before the reload. Now that's it for this weapon review, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's a new format for us but it's something we're going to be doing going forward, so make sure you tune in next week where we'll be taking a look at the Liberator. And of course if you guys did enjoy the video then a like would be hugely appreciated. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video. And of course if there are other weapons you want me to review then similarly let me know down below. For the time being, thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.